It's the 17th of June 2013 at about 2.50pm and it's time for the final part of this special behind the scenes film. This is a quick summary of my whole animation project which I began right back on the 19th of February. What you're looking at here is my original background design of Moe's Tavern and I designed this on the 20th of February I'm very pleased with it and just before I continue with my summary so this is my original background design of Moe's Tavern that I designed on the 20th of February which I'm very pleased with and I use this throughout my animation so that's absolutely brilliant fantastic piece of work this of course was the redesigned uh, Moe's Tavern that I did on the 5th of March and I was planning to include this one um, in the scene where the door opens and Mo Sislak appears to pick up the box of Duff beer that was delivered. Uh, in those scenes when the door opens I was planning on using this version here of Mo's Tavern um, but in the end I decided that this wasn't actually needed and so I didn't use this one. I ended up using this one instead throughout the whole animation. Anyway, back to the actual summary now. I began using an application software program which is available for both Nintendo DSi and Nintendo 3DS. This useful piece of animation software is actually called Inchworm Animation and I began using this for the first time on the 19th of February. I decided to try and draw Homer Simpson, who's my favourite character of all from The Simpsons. And I began by drawing Homer a little bit at a time. I used the stop motion animation feature and I continued drawing using a Sharpie marker pen, making sure to add small lines and then take a photograph each time to capture the stop motion animation. This was a practice session and it took me about two hours to complete. And of course this part of the animation is very short and it only lasts for around 30 seconds. I can actually show you uh, a piece of this animation right now. Of course I did this, this was the very first piece of animating that I did at home using Inchworm Animation on my 3DS to be exact. This is a bit of the software, a bit from the actual software of my animation that I did on the 19th of February. I'm very pleased with that as you can see. There's a little example of what it looks like in the animation. This will be right at the beginning of the animation itself. The next day, which was the 20th of February, uh, this was when I decided to try and make an animated short film based on my favourite TV show, which is The Simpsons. So during the afternoon, I began drawing a background consisting of Moe's Tavern, shown here. I did the same thing as before, beginning with a blank piece of paper and then simply adding a little line and making sure to also take a photo each time to capture more of the stop motion animation. I spent most of the afternoon and all evening working on this. The time was used to draw Moe's Tavern, add detail to this design and then also add colour afterwards. And by the end of the evening the background was successfully completed and I was very pleased with it. I designed this using a Sharpie marker pen and the animation result was brilliant.
The time spent from the 21st of February 2013 uh, onwards was used to actually draw and design things needed for the animation itself. This included characters such as Homer and Bart Simpson, Mo Sislak, and the Family Guy characters, Brian and Stewie Griffin, which both make a brief cameo appearance in the main part of the animation. Now, as you can see, all these pictures here, uh, these are all the pictures I've uploaded so far of my entire project, all the ones I'm very pleased with here. And then all the ones that I've, all the pictures I've taken and some of my drawings as well, everything on here. And this is from my Facebook page, uh, 20th Century Fox Animation UK. Very pleased with all of these designs. Um, and, I've, and I've kept it up to date. It's absolutely fantastic. I also designed some props. And not only that, but during the whole project, I also designed several vehicles for the animation as well. I created a storyboard for scenes 1 to 6. And also wrote all of my story ideas down on paper. And all of these helped me out a lot with making the actual animation. And it actually took me around three months to prepare for the final bit of the project, which was the animation process. It was great fun, but I also faced many challenges during my animation project. I challenged myself to draw Homer and the many other characters needed for the project to a very small scale, designing the many vehicles and trying to draw Brian and Stewie Griffin from Family Guy was also quite tricky, but I enjoyed working on the project and I really looked forward to the final stage which was the animation process, which actually also proved challenging at times. I improved my drawing skills and also surprised myself with the amazing set of drawings I did. I've also learnt more about how an animated short film is made. I am a huge fan of The Simpsons and I was inspired not just by the show itself but also the two animation courses that I took part in towards the end of 2012, which was last year, in fact, to be precise. The These two animate animation courses were in Littlehampton at the Enable Me project, and I found them very interesting. In the first course, I enjoyed creating my own basic animation with an outer space theme, while in the second course, we were making our own silhouette animations and I decided to make a silhouette of Homer Simpson and a background consisting of Moe's Tavern. I learnt a lot from both of these courses and had great fun doing them. And I'm also currently hoping to do more of these animate animation courses in the near future. Right, now back to my animation project now uh, that I've been doing since February. And just recently I thought about designing a logo for my brand new animation, which I've already titled Living in the Moment. I began using the free paint software on my computer to design a logo. I added colour to my design and when it was complete I was very pleased with it. And this is the one that I actually created uh, for my Facebook page to advertise my upcoming uh, animation which is going to be fantastic. Now I have this one as my profile picture at the moment to uh, advertise the animation. 
to living in the moment coming soon now back to the summary after creating the first logo for my animation uh, using the free paint software on my laptop uh, then I decided to try and create a hand-drawn version of of it and it and it looked brilliant when it was finished now this is uh, took a photograph each time I completed a part of the logo design uh, this as you can see is the completed pencil design then I took another photograph after that and this is the this is how it looked when I went over all the pencil lines with my sharpie marker pen and then here is the completed design uh, coloured in just by colouring pencils I actually used this hand drawn version of my animation logo as a guide to create one final logo design and on the 13th of June 2013 I began animating again it took me around four to five hours to animate this logo and I spent the whole afternoon doing the same thing as I did previously adding a small line each time using a marker pen and I'm making sure to also take a photo each time as well to capture the stop motion animation I then added some color again adding a little bit at a time and then taking a photograph each time to capture more of the animation the animation process and the logo design as you can see here has now been successfully completed and I'm very pleased with the result now just before this behind the scenes film summing up the whole of my 2013 animation project finally comes to an end I would just like to mention what I plan to do next Now I'm currently using the free Windows Movie Maker software on my laptop to complete the whole of the animation. Now I've already added all of the photos needed as you can see. I'm actually playing a part of this animation right now. Um, I've already added all the photos needed into the Movie Maker program already. And now... Now... I'm finishing off the animation by adding some titles, credits and even some visual effects and I'm also hoping to add some music to this as well so while working on the final bit of the whole project I've discovered that my whole animation lasts for approximately 10 minutes which is fantastic but even more surprising is the fact that the whole animation consists of an incredible 3,702 still images. That's absolutely amazing. So my animation has been four months in the making and I'm very pleased with the final result. And everything that I've also achieved since February, it really is fantastic. And now I've finally reached the end of this special in-depth behind the scenes film and the end of my 2013 animation project in fact. And I really hope you found this film interesting. And if you haven't seen my animation yet, please check this out and let me know what you think of it via my fan page at facebook.com forward slash 20th Century Fox Animation UK. Thank you very much for watching. This is very much appreciated. And I look forward to hearing from you. So if you've got anything to say about my living in the moment animation, please let me know what your favourite bit is. Find my fan page. 20th Century Fox Animation UK. Anyway, thanks for watching.